Most Americans today live a life of relative isolation. We live in a suburb, in a house with a number of rooms we don't even use. We see our neighbors only briefly from time to time and feel some unease when they appear too friendly. For the most part, we would just as soon avoid contact with them entirely. We may walk our dog in the neighborhood, but we watch our step. Which of the folk we run across is carrying a gun? Most of the people we encounter at random are in their cars, driving to work or to the mall or to the grocery store. We see them surrounded by tons of automobile on the highway or the off-ramp or the parking lot. Perhaps more importantly, they see us the same way. Because of the anonymity it provides us, we feel less accountable for our behavior in the car. Normally soft-spoken, we may swear a blue streak when behind the wheel, cut folks off even though our mothers raised us right and lean on the horn despite the quietude we feel our suburban life provides. In recent years, dehumanization of our fellow humans has surpassed even life on the highway. The internet enables people to say whatever to whomever, whenever, with absolutely no accountability. Because all words appear the same on our screens, what is truth has become far more relative than it has any business being. On top of this, we've proven to be very vulnerable to shifts in the climate put forth by social media and news sources. The primary results of tech development often appear to be no more than a world of parting us from our money and domination powered by gossip and character assassination. The result of all this, physical isolation, the road warrior life, and the rabbit hole of technology conspire to make us feel lonely, isolated from one another more than at any point in history. In fact, proximity to our fellow humans and engagement with them is a fundamental human need. When we spend time around one another and feel the humanness we share, our separateness gives way to a gentler, deeper sense of connectedness. For some, this evolution can happen quickly. There's a feeling of ease when we are around other people in any context. For folks who self-identify less as people persons, the curve can be steeper. For anyone, however, engagement with our fellows leads inevitably to a sense of well-being and to discovery of our place in the world. A test of this is the traditional city. Surely the reason they came into being has always been economic, and the model is our racist social building block. When we're in constant contact with one another, dehumanization is difficult. Looking into the eyes of passers-by, shopping with them at the supermarket, encountering them at the gym or in church, all these activities bind us together in a manner that one could argue is innate. All these activities have existed in cities for thousands of years. If the isolation of today was a thing in the past, traditions that enable human contact would not dominate our history. Fellowship is an old-fashioned word that means social interaction without much of an agenda. Card or board games, choir, meeting to share knowledge of a topic. All of these are examples of it, and all of them nourish the soul. Friendship is the next step up on the intimacy scale, and done right enriches life and our identification with other people. Non-judgment and compassion empower friendships, in which we are able to relax and be authentic with another person. Services especially sustaining, helping someone less fortunate than ourselves can have a metaphysical influence on our own sense of well-being. The catch is that we must serve with no desire for recognition from other people. No helping at a shelter and going home and boasting about it. Helping other folks can give us perspective on our own lives and remind us of all we must be grateful for. It's no accident that this behavior is prized above all others in the world's religions. The depth of feeling it provides is one of life's great experiences. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to the True Fox channel, and hit the notification bell.